every single day people ask me about these birds. They're just so prehistoric looking. They don't have webbed feet. Their claws are like a stitching needle. It makes you wonder how long they've really been around for. They are quite honestly a prehistoric bird. Been very photo good, camera good, Rosie. You know, as an outfitter here in West Texas, we're running crane hunts every day of the season, and it's so cool to get to hunt a bird like this. You can't really manipulate them quite like you can ducks or geese. A lot of these birds migrating are coming all the way across the Bering Strait from Siberia. A lot of people don't know this. These cranes aren't technically a waterfowl species. They're an upland bird. And uh, recently, I'm sure everybody's seen people's dogs wearing goggles for crane hunting. It's never the beak you worry about when you're running your dog on a crane. It's always its claws. Watching that many cranes in a big group come down into the decoys is awesome. And then furthermore than that, the table fare that these cranes provide is absolutely second to none. What do they call these birds? Why do they like to eat them? People call them, they have so many names. Um, ribeye of the sky. Ribeye of the sky. Uh, you hear everybody say ribeye of the sky, ribeye of the sky. That's no lie, they're, they're really good. I'd call them sirloin because, you know, they're not that great, but. They're pretty damn good. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a lot of work, you know, we're we're filling this trailer full of tumbleweeds every day, you know, tear up your hands. These birds are clawing us. You're trying to grab them from the dog. You see these dogs are absolutely hustling every day. It's, it's a lot of work, just like any other type of waterfowl hunting, but at the end of the day, when those big groups are doing it and spinning right, it is absolutely well worth it. Then you get to go home and have a big old protein packed ribeye in the sky to make everything better. Do it again the next day.